My name is Aiden, and I graduated from UT Austin this past May from the Cocker School of Engineering. I'm so happy you guys cheered for that. I majored in biomedical engineering, which is located in a building. located in a building that's more or less right behind the tower. I currently have the privilege and the honor to have joined an outstanding body of students that make up the Dell Medical School inaugural class. We're small. <laughs> Rethink everything. That's the Dell Medical School's valuable and unique vision. Rethink everything. But why is that so? It's not just a catchphrase. The reality is, if you look, there are all sorts of things that are broken in medicine. Rising costs and access to healthcare are big ones that come to mind. Just in our own city, we have communities that suffer from persistent gaps in access to proper healthcare. And my parents have a saying, and when you translate it from Farsi, it basically says, as a tree bears more fruit, its branches become heavier and easier to reach. Of course, in the context of healthcare, it means that as we develop more innovations, better healthcare options should be more accessible to all members of our community. To me, a big component of rethinking healthcare is in using technology to move medicine forward. In healthcare, though, so often we have groundbreaking innovations that are simply too expensive for our most valuable who may actually benefit from them. Vulnerable, sorry. Now, I'm an engineer and a computer nerd at heart. My favorite part about building things is to use them to make people feel more empowered and safer. And this is why. I went into medicine, and this is where my motivation comes from. The research that I started as an undergrad with my professors and research partners in the Biomedical Engineering Laser Lab has been using artificial intelligence to extract information from patient data so that we can personalize their care for far less of the cost. But rethinking things doesn't just start with technology. It does start with people, and it starts with people sharing a vision and working towards it to get a common goal together. My classmates, for example, which are sitting right there, are already making progress towards starting a student-run free clinic for the medically underserved in Austin. Keep in mind, we've only been in school for a month and we had our first final exam on Friday. That is the kind of passion that really puts confidence behind the phrase, what starts here changes the world. While you're here at UT, take time to observe the world around you. Notice the things that need improvement and find ways to combine your passions and your education to fix them. Don't separate the lessons that you learn in class from the issues that you see in the world around you. We're called the University of What's Next because we do these things. Every new student, undergraduate or graduate, has this opportunity. You could even call it an obligation. You gain so much wisdom just by being active in your learning and your experiences. And that's how we can change the world for the better. You've already taken your first step by being here at Gone to Texas this evening. Well, I hope you've been enjoying tonight and that you've been receiving the first of many, many free t-shirts that you'll be getting here over the few years. On behalf of the Dell Medical School inaugural class, thank you for having us. Welcome to UT and Hume Horns. <laughs>